This is the Iowa Weather Report for Saturday, April 27th, 2013. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon at 500 millibars or 18,000 feet off the ground. The main westerlies across the northern tier of the country into Canada. Bit of a system off to our south over Missouri and Kansas down into Oklahoma could produce a few showers and a thunderstorm or two. This could clip the far southern and southeastern counties of the state today, namely Lamoni to about Keokuk or Burlington. Otherwise, mainly sunny skies with highs in the 60s to lower 70s, and we'll see 70s statewide here on Sunday, maybe approaching 80 in some areas, with the rain showers well off to our east across the Ohio Valley down into the Tennessee Valley and the south and into the Texas Gulf Coast. Then Monday we have a frontal system coming in, Sunday night into Monday actually, with some showers and a few thunderstorms along that. That front will slowly stall across the state Monday into Monday night and will lift back north as a warm front Tuesday. Now here Tuesday it looks dry, but the thunderstorms will develop after this point. This is Tuesday midday along the front from that low over Canada to the low in Kansas. And then the front slowly just moves across the state Tuesday night into Wednesday with rain showers. It'll be a lot cooler Wednesday. Highs likely only in the low 60s, maybe in the 50s with rain showers and thunderstorms. But Thursday, it's going to get much cooler. Wednesday night, as the precipitation ends, there could be a slight chance that there could be a wintry mix. We're not going to mention that any further because Thursday, it's cold. Highs around 50 stays that cold on Friday as an upper level feature begins to develop and this rain starts to back up toward us back through the Great Lakes down into the into Florida coastal low off of South Carolina watch that as this upper level feature just takes over the eastern half of the country it'll be centered mm, about near Cincinnati and it'll be controlling the weather for the eastern half of the country. That surface low then moves northward. New surface low mo start or develops over West Virginia, moves into Illinois. So next weekend could be quite showery and fairly cool around here. A couple days after this, on the 8th of May, that upper level system begins to finally kick itself out up into New England. We go come under a ridge, so temperatures do start to warm back up to seasonal levels by that point. With maybe a few rain showers or thunderstorms with another system beginning to take shape off to our west. We won't see any cold weather at that point with highs likely well into the 70s. And at the end of the forecast on May the 12th, we have a trough over the Great Lakes into New England, a ridge over the west, another system off of the California coast. And with this northwesterly flow aloft and a ridge starting to come in, though, temperatures will be much cooler, likely back into uh, at least the upper 50s to middle 60s. But warm weather looks to not be that far away with southerly winds taking across or coming across the Plain States. The satellite image from last evening showed that disturbance to our south with these showers and thunderstorms, a bit of severe weather down there last evening, and those thunderstorms extended into the Tennessee Valley as well, and some clouds across the U.S.-Canadian border where the main westerlies are setting up right now. The watch warning map from last evening, we had a remaining severe thunderstorm watch over southern and southeastern Oklahoma. We had some flood watches up across North Dakota and Minnesota with the Red River possibly flooding and some river flood warnings in the Midwest as well. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, showing rainfall amounts around here could be well, fairly decent, half an inch to maybe one inch of rain, but the heaviest amounts across the Gulf Coast, upwards of two to four inches possible.